You are, of course, heading uh, into an election in Australia in 2019. Uh, your predecessor, Malcolm Turnbull, essentially broke his silence last week uh, since he was removed from the top job, saying that decision to oust him was self-destructive for the government. The latest news poll out in the last uh, 12 or 24 hours or so shows that you've got your work cut out for you. You're trailing the opposition party uh, by about 10 percentage points. How are you going to arrest any further slide and what will be the top priority for you in terms of communicating your government's performance to the electorate as we move into that critical election period next year? Well, I think it's, it's very reasonable to say that uh, we've got a big job ahead of us. That's, that's not no surprise uh, un under the circumstances of several months ago. But the government has a clear agenda to ensure we have a strong economy because we understand that it's the strong economy that supports the services and infrastructure, uh, the necessary um, to provide the, the way of life and the standard of living that Australians enjoy. Uh, now, on top of that, keeping Australians safe uh, is critically important. And, and the terrorist incident we had uh, here in Australia just Friday is, is another reminder that these issues are never far away and we need to be constantly vigilant. And this is why we also work closely with our regional partners on these, on these issues. And, and uh, there is a very strong focus from our government to keep um, Australians together. And what I mean by that, industrial harmony. We don't, our government is not going to take Australia back to some of the, uh, to the chaos of, uh, of industrial disputes of many, many years ago. That is not a place that our government wants to take our industrial settings in Australia. We've always sought to improve them and that's been a key to our prosperity. Uh, so our message to Australians is, is, is very straightforward and that is a stronger economy delivers the services and the essentials that they rely upon for their standard of living. And uh, we've got a great track record of, of economic management and growing a strong economy, record jobs growth, and at the same time bringing the budget into balance, um, which is, a, which is a, an economic and financial management uh, achievement, which I know is very important to Australians, and maintaining our AAA credit rating under the period of one of the most extreme pressure that we've seen in our country. Are you convinced that you will indeed be able to do that, um, Prime Minister, when it comes to growth in Australia? Once again, if you look at the big picture, you look at the macro issues out there that are facing the global economy at the moment, global markets, there is a lot of concern about a potential slowdown for the world economy, uh, not just purely Australia to deal with, but uh, you know, when you look at the global picture, are you convinced that Australia is going to remain strong in the face of a potential economic slowdown? Well, I am, because that has been our track record. We are now in you know, 27 years of continuous economic growth, and the last five years have been a very hard, uh, very hard slog. I mean, in the, in, for many other countries, the global financial crisis was the key economic event that impacted the performance of their economies. In Australia, that was not the case. I mean, at that time, um, we were going into the upside of the, a mining investment boom, and there was very strong growth out of China. Now, on the other side of the mining investment boom, we had and more $80 billion take, ripped out of our economy as investment in that sector fell. And that had a very significant impact on our economy. Yet through that, we continued to grow. We continued to restore uh, our budget position and we maintained our AAA credit rating all the way through under that pressure. So we've got good form, I would say. And yes, there are lots of uncertainties and there are lots of challenges out there well beyond our shores. That's why we've pushed and achieved the uh, free trade agreements that we have with China and, and, uh, and South Korea and Japan. And they are critical. I mean, uh, Prime Minister Abe will be in Australia soon and I'll be meeting with him here in Darwin and, uh, and continuing to work on the defence arrangements and, and other issues that we've been working with them. I mean, we've got a great program which has been getting taxes down in Australia, uh, getting investment up, expanding our markets and investing in critical public infrastructure. Our public infrastructure program, whether it's the Western Sydney Airport or now working on, on the major Tullamarine um, airport line uh, between the Melbourne CBD and our major airport, uh, major uh, um, pumped hydro projects in, in the Snowy Mountains. Uh, these are big, big infrastructure projects which have been supporting uh, the strength of our economy during what has been a testing time. Still watching? Perfect. Click here to watch another great video from CNBC International. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.